Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is electrical load size, load factor, diversity factor and future estimate. So first we'll see what do you mean by electrical load. The load of a system refers to a specific part designed to produce some form of work and work occurs when energy goes through transformation or changes. So whenever there is a change or transformation, a work is done. Now, heat, light, chemical action, sound and mechanical motion are some of the common form of work produced by a load device. And as a general rule, a very large portion of all the energy produced by source is consumed by the load device during its operation. Now, once we know what is electrical load, now let's see what is electrical load size. It is the sum of continuous rating of all the equipments connected to the supply. And a power system supplies load to thousands of consumers. And each consumer has certain equipment installed in his premises. So, the sum of continuous rating of all the equipment in consumer's premises is the load size of the consumer. Now, let us take an example on how to get electrical load size for a residential. So, if we, so if a consumer has a connected load of 200 watt lamps, 360 watt tube lights and 1000 watt heater, then the connected load of the consumer is 2 into 100 plus 60 into 3 plus 1000. So, it will be 1380 watts. The sum of the connected load of all the consumers is connected load to the power station. Now, if we have to find out the energy consumption of appliances, then we must know how much the appliance work. So, it will be depending upon the power in watt into duration of its use in hours. And we all know that the common unit of electricity is kwh that is kilowatt hours next is load factor the ratio of average load to maximum demand during a given period is known as load factor higher the load factor of the power station lesser will be the cost per unit generated it is because higher load factor means lesser maximum demand and the station capacity is selected such that it meets the maximum demand. So, if lower maximum demands means lower capacity of the plant which reduces the cost of the plant. And load factor is always less than 1. Next is diversity factor. It is the ratio of sum of individual maximum demand to maximum demand on the power station. The effect of diversity factor is to reduce the simultaneous maximum demand on the station for the same individual demands. The effect of diversity factor is to reduce capital cost for station and consequently a lower overall rate for generation of electricity. The significance of load factor and diversity factor are that the higher the value of load factor and diversity factor lower will be the overall cost per unit generated and the supplier should always try to improve the load factor as well as diversity factor by inducing the consumers to use electricity during off-peak hours and they may be charged at a lower rate for such schemes. Next is future estimates. Prediction of load demand is very important for deciding the units to be generated by a generating station. Also, most economical generating station is operated first, then as per requirement other stations are brought into service. Following are some methods of future estimate. First is load survey method. Next is method of extrapolation. Next is mathematical method and the last mathematical method using economic parameters.
सो लेट सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज लोड सर्वे वे मेथड वी ऑल नो दैट द लोड्स आर बिंग ग्रुप इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सच एज रेसिडेंशियल लोड कमर्शियल लोड इंडस्ट्रियल लोड सो डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कैटेगरीज इज कलेक्टेड to estimate the demand and its rate of growth duration and time of occurrence of load and the energy requirement etc next is method of extrapolation extrapolation method estimates the yearly increase in the energy consumption and this method are essentially statistical next one is mathematical method this method uses linear or exponential curve fitting technique for extrapolation of the curve indicating energy consumption for past several years these methods can be applied only when adequate adequate statistical data over a sufficiently long period on the past consumption of electrical energy is available and the last one mathematical methods using economic parameters these methods are based on the assumptions that per capita consumption of electrical energy in a country depends upon the economic factor some of these being specific gross investment industrial production specific gnp steel consumption housing transport etc indices of these parameters are found and suitably used for extrapolation by linear or exponential approximations so these are all the methods of future estimates that's all for this video and 